The position adjustment tool is a target tracking function and is used for finding your part as it moves throughout the field of view. The standard position adjustment tool will look for a specified outline during each inspection and correct for any misalignment or orientation differences between targets. Let's go through an example. In this video, I'm going to walk through step-by-step step how to set up the position adjustment tool on the IV3. Please note there are two types of position adjustment tools. If you go into sensor settings, the one I will be showing you in this video is the standard position adjustment tool. So if you hit add tool, that can be found right here. This position adjustment tool will use an outline to track your part. The second type of position adjustment tool is under the extra one tab and it's called the high speed position adjustment. If you're interested in learning more about this, be sure to check out that video. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this standard position adjustment tool and hit OK. And as you can see, I already have one tool set up in my program. This is a color prohibit tool that is being used to check if the black portion of the clip right here is fully inserted. A bad part, this would be sticking out into my color prohibit window and that would be a bad part. If you have additional questions on this tool, make sure to check out the color prohibit video. But when I add a position adjustment, you can see it gives me this window on my image. And as I expand this, you'll see it will highlight the outline of my part in green pixels. This is visibly showing me what the position adjustment tool is picking up on. There are a few different things you want to consider when making a position adjustment on your target. The first is you want to pick a feature that is present on both a good and a bad part. So in my case, this piece right here is the part that will be changing in depth. It's either going to be fully inserted or extending when it's not fully inserted. And so this part is changing. However, this half of my clip is the same on a good and a bad part, and it will always be present when I am taking an image. So I want to use this half of the clip for my position adjustment. The next thing you wanna consider is what is a unique outline? So if I were to, for example, just use this portion, this is just a straight line. It's not very unique in the sense that here's a straight line, but my tool might think that it could be this straight line or perhaps this straight line. It's going to make it hard for my position adjustment tool to latch onto my part in the correct spot each time. However, if I expand my window to include these various corners on my part, this is a much more unique outline that the position adjustment tool will be able to latch onto each time and correctly identify where my target is in the field of view. So for example, I might choose something like this, where it sees this edge of the part, this main corner, and these two other smaller features as well. The next thing you want to consider when choosing a position adjustment is the size of the tool in comparison to the size of the target. So for example, how my window is currently set is relatively large, which will be good for stability. If I instead do a position adjustment like so, just looking for this single corner, this is much smaller in comparison to not only my part, but also the area that I'm checking over here. There's a much larger distance in between my position adjustment and my tool if I were to use something like this. So this will be less stable than if I use a position adjustment that is larger and closer to my area of detection. So now that I have a good position adjustment set on my feature, the next thing to consider is this fine tune outline. This is where you can set the sensitivity of your position adjustment. And you'll notice as I increase my sensitivity, it starts to pick up on some other pixels on my part. If I want to remove part of my outline or part of what it's picking up, I can simply use this fine tune outline and erase those specific pixels. When I do this, the pixels turn yellow instead of green, just again, visibly showing that those are not being included anymore. You can also change the size of your eraser 
for more efficient fine tuning if needed. So I'm going to leave mine as so. And you can see I have a really clear outline for this tool. Next, you have your limit adjustment, which will just determine the threshold for what is considered passing or OK versus no good. By default, it's at 50%, but you can raise or lower this accordingly. That completes the basic settings of the position adjustment tool, but I do want to hop into the extended functions to go over the rotation range. So by default, this will be set to plus or minus 20 degrees, meaning that if my part were to rotate 20 degrees in either direction, my position adjustment tool should still be able to find my part. However, if my part rotates more than plus or minus 20 degrees, my position adjustment tool will no longer be able to latch on to my part. If I want to allow for full rotation, for example, I can change this to plus or minus 180 degrees to allow for complete rotation of my part. For my example, I'm going to change this back to the default of plus or minus 20, but just note that you can increase that range if you're going to have more rotation in your part. And lastly, you have your search algorithm. You, you can choose between height accuracy or high speed. So if you have a fast application, selecting this high speed option will help keep your processing time a little bit lower. Uh, but if you have a outline that is a little bit harder to detect or maybe less contrast, go ahead and select this high accuracy method. So that completes the settings of my position adjustment tool. I'm going to hit OK and complete my program. So now I want to test out how this position adjustment and program would operate on other targets. Let's go into operation simulation. And as you can see, I have several targets saved in this program at different angles and rotations. So as I click on these, it will apply the tools we just set up to these targets. As you can see, that position adjustment is easily able to latch on to my unique outline and feature and the color prohibit tool will track accordingly to my position adjustment. So as I click through these, here's a bad part. My tab is extended and not inserted all the way. Same thing as I go through this rotation. Now this example, my position adjustment fails. And the reason for this is because my rotation range was limited to plus or minus 20 degrees. This is much more than a 20 degree rotation. So that is why it's failing in this case. If I wanted to allow for this, I would have to expand that rotation range setting. Again, as you click through here, you can see it's able to track with my part. I hope this video helped explain how to set up and use the position adjustment tool. But if you have any additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Keyence option two for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.